he's a strong number nine. He's developed a lot in the in the last year from from when I first saw him. We nested the team in a year's time, so yeah, no, he's a, he's a very good player. Yeah, I was going to say, what, what type? Because a lot of people have heard about him mainly because of his transfer. What have been seeing on the field? Uh, yeah, I suppose we don't get enough uh, media attention in Denmark, that's why. So people uh, outside Denmark don't know enough. Uh, but no, he's, he's a nice guy. And, uh, yeah, no, he's a good player. Like I said, he's developed, uh, turning into, into just a, a nine, which is played for the national team. Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen that many games for Atalanta, but I know how they play. Uh, yeah, he fitted in well there. So uh, yeah, he's a good player. Eric Ten Hag may view Mason Greenwood as an easy alternative as he searches for two new strikers at Manchester United. United have concluded a deal with Atlanta for Hodgland, with a signing fee of £72 million for five years plus one year extension option. But earlier this month, the Manchester Evening News claimed that Ten Hag wanted to add two new faces to his attack this summer. And United's budget is unlikely to stretch much further beyond Hodgland's price tag without player sales, potentially leaving the Dutchman short of his desired options. That's where Greenwood comes in. United's number 11 is awaiting a verdict on his future as the club conduct an internal investigation to decide whether he will play for them again after charges of attempted rape, assault and coercive control against the striker were dropped by the Crown Prosecution Service. Earlier in pre-season, Ten Hag confirmed that he had informed United of his stance on Greenwood's future as he prepares for his second campaign in charge. He told reporters, it's a club decision, and of course, I shared my opinions, but it's a club decision, and we all have to accept that. I can't say so much about it, but I shared my opinion about it, so let's see what's going to happen. Manchester United have agreed a deal in principle for Rasmus Hoyland. I know you don't like talking about players that are not officially yours yet, but what makes him a special player? What are his attributes that you like? So, as you said, I can't talk um, about players who are not under contract at Manchester United. So, uh, if you want to make the question, first uh, we have to finish something, and then after, uh, then we can talk, you can set the question. And it would make sense if Ten Hag viewed Greenwood as a potential new signing this season, given the 21-year-old suspension started before his arrival. United are short of striker options after Cristiano Ronaldo's exit in November. If Marcus Rashford isn't playing as Ten Hag striker, he only has injury-prone Anthony Marshall as cover. Hodgland's signing would release plenty of that pressure. But Greenwood would provide competition for a starting berth up front or on the right if he rediscovered his electric promise. After breaking into the first team, 